The uh, purpose of this tutorial is to show how to draw a velocity time graph from a displacement time graph or position time graph. And so what we're given here is the uh, displacement or position for an object. And so for example, at one second it's gone, uh, distance is measured in meters here and the time in seconds. One it's gone five, two it's gone twenty, three it's gone uh, forty-five, etc. Now, so this is the uh, a displacement time graph. So in order to draw the velocity time graph, velocity is the rate that displacement changes. It's a change in displacement over change in time. And so to calculate those rates, it's really a slope calculation. What we would do is divide, is take the graph and draw tangent lines at uh, several different times in the graph. And it's convenient to choose, for example, one second, two seconds, three seconds, etc. So I'm drawing tangents for all these. Tangent is a line that uh, remember, it just touches the curve in one place. Um, gets a little tricky when the graph gets really steep, but again, this line that I just drew uh, just touches there. Uh, the green one's probably a good example, or the brown orange one here. I uh, suppose it just touch at that one spot. So I drew all my tangents at one, two, three, and four seconds. I could have drawn drawn one at five as well. Now, as I said, this is a really a slope calculation. And so what I'm going to do for this very first tangent I drew is I'm going to identify two points in the tangent, this point where the tangent point actually as well, and then another point that I'm pretty sure is on the, the tangent line right here. And I'm going to draw a little, uh, these, these are called rate triangles, so you can measure the, the run and the rise. Remember, slope is rise over run. And so this rise here is actually the change in displacement. Uh, vertically, every block here is 5 meters. So this would be 5, this is 10, 5 and 5 is 10, so that's 10 there. And this is a distance horizontally of 1 second. And so that's how we'll actually calculate the slope. And I'll draw these all in and I'll uh, talk about each one of these individually. And so velocity is uh, change displacement over change in time. So for this very first one, at 1 second, the uh, slope of that tangent line is 10 meters over a time of one second. So 10 divided by 1 is 10. So the velocity right there is 10 meters per second because that's the slope of the tangent line. Now let's do this one here. Uh, I'm using this point and that point right there. So again, it's convenient to choose a time of one second, but you don't have to. And I actually did an example of that in the next one. Uh, vertically, this distance right here would be 20 meters for a time of one second. So 20 divided by 1 is 20. So at two seconds, this uh, whatever this object is, is up to 20 meters per second. So let's do the three one now at time of three seconds right here. There's this uh, purple tangent line. I chose a time of, uh, now three blocks is actually one and a half seconds, 1.5 seconds. And then vertically this would be 10, 20, 30, 45. So 45 meters in one and a half second, if you divide that you get 30 meters per second. You notice that it's just going up by 10 meters per second each second. And at 4, this one here, I went down to a time of 1 second again. And the uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 is the displacement. So 40 divided by 1 is, of course, 40. Now, I didn't draw a tangent line here at 0, but of course, it would be horizontal. And so since it's horizontal, the rise or change in displacement is 0. So 0 divided by 1 is 0. So the velocity is actually 0 there. Now. Um, I'm going to put a different scale on here because I'm going to plot the velocity time graph in the same graph. So let's, uh, the distance is measured in meters and let's say we we'll use the same scale here, velocity is in meters per second. So at time zero, the velocity is zero. So that would be this point zero zero here. At one, it's 10. So at one, we have a velocity of 10 meters per second. At two, it's 20. Uh, displacement and velocity are actually the same there. At 3, it's at 30, so we put a dot right there. At time of 4, it's 40. So at 4 seconds, it's up to 40. Notice it's a nice straight line here. This is a linear relationship, the velocity time graph. So that's what the velocity time graph would look like. It's that blue straight line. So that's how you calculate velocity from a distance or a displacement time graph. Draw tangents at several different points in the graph. Convenient uh, way to do it is choose uh, nice even seconds like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and uh, calculate the slope of each of those and then you can draw your velocity time graph.